Chapter 4 will be assessing your personality and interests. We'll be going over for your student learning outcomes, analyze differences in personality types, determine your own personality type, connect personality type to choice of major and career, identify fields of interest, and we'll be able to research your interests as they relate to potential majors and occupations. The personality type indicator is My the Myers-Briggs. This one is, uh, I requested that I recommended that you do get the package, but if you didn't, um, that's okay. You have the tool on the activity that you can do to complete. But this will be time now that you'll be able to open up your Myers-Briggs type indicator package and begin uh, doing that so now, so that it will help you with your personality paper to do for next week. This is just letting you, prepping you guys for uh, what I want you guys to be going over for later on. It was developed by Catherine Briggs and Isabel Briggs Myers. It was based on early work from Swiss psychologist Carl Jung. The first one we're going to go over in the MBTI is extroversion. So the E, the letter E, if you received the letter E, then you'd want to listen to this portion. If you did not, and you got a different letter, then you can kind of fast forward it to the letter I. So let's go over extroversion. Extroversion is someone who is likes action and variety. They're very sociable. They're easy to talk to with people. Um, going to a party that they can talk to others there. Focus on the outer world, people, things, action. They, die, they likes to deal with mental work by talking to people. Likes to see results from how people do a job. Prefers to communicate by talking. Wants to know what other people expect. Acts first and then thinks later. That is our extroversion. And then the next one that we'll go over is the introversion. So if you're, if you're an introvert, you will focus on the inner world of ideas, experiences, and memories prefer to communicate in writing, prefers to do mental work privately, likes to do, likes to understand something before trying it, likes to un work alone or with a few people, thinks first, acts later. Uh, students who, or people who are usually introverts are more likely to uh, follow suit in like an engineering, computer, something that they have to just focus on. They could work alone and not with others. So that's just an example of those who are introverts. The next letter we'll go over is the S. So focus on things as they are present orientated, observes and remembers specifics, facts, enjoys using skills already learned, understand ideas and theories through practical applications, patience and good with detail, but impatient when situation gets complicated. Uh, they like to refer it to seize the trees before the forest and sees the practical use of things. Now that's our sensing. So if you received an S, then that will be um, what you'll be covering over for you. Or you can get the I, which is intuitive. So, and the, actually, it's the N, not the, not the I. <laughs> it's the N. So you can get an S or, or N in this portion. N focuses on the meaning of patterns in data orientated to future and possibilities. Imaginative, creative, moves quickly to conclusions, follows hunches, impatient with details, doesn't mind complicated situation. And then this is like the vice versa of the saying, so sees forests before sees the trees. So the whole, as say, they see the whole. The last, last word, uh, let, last letter will be thinking. The next letter will be thinking. These people uh, who 
make decisions logically and analytically. Some people might refer them to um, left brain thinkers. They use cause and effect reasoning, focus more on ideas than relationships, can be tough-minded. Fairness and justice is important. Strives for objective standard of truth. Has technical and scientific orientations. The, la the next one will be feelings. So those who, of you who got an F makes decision by paying attention to personal values and feelings. Likes praise to, likes praise and to please people. Is aware of other people's feelings. Empathetic, compassionate, uncomfortable with arguments, conflict. And the last one, you can't see the, the one on the bottom, but it says values, harmony, and positive interactions. So you can kind of see where some people might see this in career and job choices. So you can see where they kind of relate. Um, so like I would say, somebody with a thinking is more of a lawyer, logical kind of thinker. Uh, feelings would be more of a psychologist, a nurse, something like that. Judging likes to have a plan and follow the plan. Systematic, methodolog methodological. Finishes one project before starting another. Makes up mind about situations people may decide thing on things too quickly. Lives by standards and schedules that are not easily changed. Works first, fun later. That's their philosophy. Uh, one thing about this is uh, the last one. Um, the judging is, I can tell you because I'm, I'm a J, is that I work with a planner. I need to have it organized. I like to have things ahead of time or it, it all seems all messed up. So I like to have things in my either my Google Calendar or my actual calendar calendar, a paper one. So that one I can tell you uh, we like uh, very uh, strict to a plan. Perceiving, these are our people who can say, hey, let's go to Vegas and just up and go and take off. And so these are our perceiving people. They usually like to say that in a crisis, in an emergency or a crisis situation, you don't want the judger being in charge. You want the person that's perceiving because they can wham, bam, let me tell you what we're going to do, get everybody together. We're going to exit this exit uh, premises here. And so the people that are perceiving can pretty much deal with um, unexpected situations pretty easily. They like to stay flexible, avoid fixed plans, deals easily with unplanned events, likes to start projects but may not finish them, <laughs> may decide things too slowly, live spontaneously, making changes to deal with problems as they come along. Fun first, work later. So this way you can see how your letters uh, relate to some of your your exploring majors or deciding on them. So you want to get the first letter that you received and you get the last letter of your personality type indicator and then you put them together and this is what you'll get here. So if you're, your first letter is an E and your last letter is a J, you can declare majors pretty early. If your first letter is an E, your last letter is a P, likes to experience everything be first before deciding. Deciding is an ongoing process. I with a J, research majors before deciding. I with a P, types delayed decisions while considering all the options. I won't have you do so much Holland Interest Environments, a Holland Interest Code. I do have a link on the week three. If you go to resources where you can do a Holland Code yourself, I think I believe I have a Holland Code, a True Colors on there, and then they will give you your three letters. They usually uh, correlate with one another. This is just going over um, the interest environments, realistic, investigative, artistic, social, enterprising, and conventional. A realistic individual are physically and like to work outdoors and with tools. 
so they prefer to deal with things rather than people. <laughs> uh, interested in majors such as architectural, mechanics, drafting, civil engineering, criminal justice, medical technology, industrial engineering. Those are all uh, very related. So the, we would call these people that get the R in their um, assessment, they were called the doers. The thinkers in, so if you received an I, then your personality type is investigative. Types are task oriented and prefer to work alone. Enjoy abstract problems and understanding physical world. Interested in majors such as biology, chemistry, dentistry, engineering, computer science, economics, geography, geology, and law and mathematics. So you get, you get what type of um, thinkers are. And we have the creators. They're the artistic. So if you receive the A, artistic, there we refer them to the creators. Individuals like to work in artistic settings that allow opportunities for self-expression. Interested in majors such as advertising or art history, computer animation, graphics design, drafting technology, English, music, multimedia. And then if you receive the sociable, so you remember there's going to be three of them that will be together. So they will over the, they will be overlapping. Sociable types are responsible and concerned with other people's welfare, other well, uh, with welfare of others. Interested in majors such as child care, communications, dental hygiene, education, nursing, religious studies, counseling. These are considered our helpers. The persuaders are enterprising. So individuals like leading, speaking, persuading, or selling. So you might refer these to these individuals with the gift of gab. They're very good at what they do. They can sell um, something to you in advertising, business, finance, law, marketing, real estate. And then the organizers, so which is the conventional. We refer them to organizers. Individuals per prefer highly oriented ordered activities, both verbal and, not, and numerical. Some interested in majors such as accounting, computer technology, court reporting, paralegal, legal, medical office management, and library science. Personality types and interest clusters. Career satisfaction is directly related to one's ability to incorporate unique personality characteristics and interest into the work situation. I don't know if you can see this very well. Um, it looks like the bottom part might be cut off. Um, not that much. It just says science and technology on the bottom. So we'll leave this here for just a quick moment so you can kind of see where it all relates. Ideas, if you go down to the bottom, ideas, medical technologies. At this point, you can actually pause it, but I believe this is also in your book, so you can refer to that. So this is just showing how um, social services um, relate to people and how it crosses over to another area. So this is just something uh, to your reference. This is called the passion formula. So your unique personality and interest equals your passion. Use this knowledge to help you to determine your career goals. So, um, I like this saying because uh, we're American, and if you've seen um, Rich Asians, there's a movie, they talk about how Americans are all about passion and their work, and this does correlate to a lot of us and how we like to have our passion and, and how, what we do in our lifestyle. So, uh, it's really interesting to, to see from a different culture. Deciding on the major. Common uh, to feel, it's very common to feel anxiety, pressure from the parents and family when you're undecided, especially when you're right out of high school, um, to deciding what are you going to do with your life. And at 17, 18 years old, I can't say that you're ready to decide on what you're going to do for the rest of your life. So that's why I always encourage students to come to a community college and um, consider taking a course like this. I will just briefly go over this. Um, just showing you guys how we could decide on a major and then choosing on an actual major. And we'll help, I'll help you do that by doing the, the focus to careers. This will conclude um, for today. 
I won't go over any more uh, for the 